Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part number 10 of The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, and we are now in the Dark World. We're heading towards the Dark Palace, which was the Eastern Palace in the Light World. But we're heading down there, but first, we have a couple items to pick up. First thing you want to do is want to go over here. Go, oh, well, there's I want to get that heart piece. <laughs> and then go up, get the heart piece out of the way. And since we collected enough hearts, we have a full heart container now. Which is always ever so awesome. And we're gonna lesbian these people to death. <laughs> Alright. And those are the light, the dark, and we still like pretty Everything's like kind of prehistoric like. You see like a lot of dinosaurs. You see some. I think those are pig enemies too. Yeah. A lot of weird enemies. We also want to farm for some um, rupees here as well. For well, if you played the game, you already know what's up. You need at least a hundred rupees. <laughs> hundred ten, actually. Hopefully, I end up getting enough. Uh, it's probably gonna take me a while to get a hundred ten rupees <laughs> overall. Let's we'll see what happens. Oh, it's five. <laughs> Let's see here. Ah, oh, damn it! I hate those. Hiding in the bushes. I hate that. Whoa. Ah, freaking B. That's what you get. And the Dark World enemies here, they packed a punch. They're a lot tougher than the Light World enemies. So it's always good to come in here prepared. Sadly, I'm not prepared. I don't have any potions or anything like that, but I'm going to get some fairies pretty soon in the next dungeon in the, um, dark, in the dark Palace. <clears throat> gotcha. Oops. Go over here. Ah, uh, nothing. Anyways, want to go up here. Let's try to take care of these enemies. All right, nothing. So let's go. Keep going up. Anyone who check this? Nope, nothing there. Let's go over here. Pick this up, and want to throw this in there. And we have a fish. What's well, it you who disturbed my peaceful nap? I will give you this if you go away. This is a quick medallion. This match causes the ground to shake and defeats nearby enemies. Watch your magic meter. And now we got a quick medallion, just like the ether medallion. But with that being said, let's go to the um Whoa, oh, that was close. That being said, I still need to get um See the heavily 110 rupees, so what the hell am I doing? Oh nice block. <laughs> hope, I, hope I find enough. And I have to be dicks here. Sheesh. Oh nice fool. Okay. Alright. Damn it. How am I gonna get all the rupees? Oh, nice. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. I got enough rupees. A little more than enough. So, I should be good to go. Alright, there we go. I got them by farming those enemies that shoot rocks. But anyways, now we got enough rupees. We're headed down to the Eastern Palace. I mean, not the Eastern Palace. The Dark... The Dark Palace, excuse me. <laughs> Which is the... 
fourth or fifth dungeon in the game, Rona Cause technically the fourth dungeon. Because I don't think Hyrule Castle really counts as a dungeon per se, but yeah. <laughs> Jerk. But anyways, we're heading down there. And it's in the same area as the Eastern Palace. Like, I said that earlier, but still. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm gonna die. Don't worry about it. Anyways, let's get going. So how's everyone doing today? I'm doing just fine myself. I'm disappointed in my 49ers though. They suck ass this year. So much promise and not enough um, execution. But that's another story and that's another rant. This is a gaming video right now. Let's talk about video games. Um, I haven't yet to play Hyrule Warriors just yet. Um, Hopefully sometime down the road I'll be able to play that and show you guys what I think about that game. But for now, I have such a big um, backlog of games. And I went the wrong way. Whoa. Got for these bomb enemies. Here we go. Oh, the arrow. Yeah, I have such a big backlog of games. I don't really have enough time to play Hyrule Warriors. I'm still playing Dragon Age and um, Far Cry. <laughs> and Dragon Age is a long ass game. And I'm, of course, I'm doing these LPs for you as well. Ah, oh, fucking, I'm dead. <laughs> Not good. I'll meet you back in this area. All right, I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. Got that vegetable. Whatever the fuck that was that killed me. Anyways, which one do you want to go through here? Say, um, it's kind of a tricky area. You know, it's a little bit of a maze. But once you get out, you have this monkey that follows you. I'm Kiki the monkey. Kiki, I love rupees more than anything. Can you spare me 10 rupees? Well, you do give him 10 rupees. Be sure to give the monkey 10 rupees. Because you need this monkey's help. Keep going over here. Forget about this enemy. And go straight ahead into the dungeon. Kiki, Kiki, if you give me 100 rupees, I will open the entrance for you. Kiki, give him 100 rupees. And that's why we need the rupees. So we can actually get in the damn dungeon. <laughs> I think it's a ripoff, but whatever. And as we're in the dungeon, we are now in the Dark Palace. And I love this music. This is way better than the um The Light World dungeon music. I love this theme. First thing you wanna do actually is go down here. I'm gonna actually use my um Get my dust out. Cause there's these things and you need fairies. Well, I need fairies personally. <laughs> Some people don't need fairies in this dungeon. I do. Especially against the boss. Fuck. Ow. <laughs> Come on. Get me. Damn it. Come on, you dick. Gotcha. I got my bug catching net. Come here. Don't be afraid. Gotcha. Alright, now I got the um, fairy and we are. Right here. Yep, got it. Now you want to bring out your bombs. Bomb this wall over here. And we're going to head down. Have these enemies right here. Just. One little swipe will take care of it. Be careful to have electrocution powers right there. Take care of this one. And we're just going to charge up over here. Not going to waste the bomb. There's no point. And we have these enemies that follow your every move. But the red one up top, he actually shoots fireballs when you're facing him. So what you want to do is take care of this one first. Use your arrows. Like that. Take care of that one. Alright. And just use your arrows on this one. You have plenty of arrows. Nice. And now we have this room. So if I could get this. Gotcha. Nice. So we got for the conveyor belts. Look out for these. Uh, be careful on the conveyor belt, excuse me. <laughs> it's not too hard of a room, though. 
Trust me, there is a lot worse in this game. Right. Let's take care of this. We got the map. What we're going to do now is go through this um, wall over here. So let's bring out our bombs. And it should be kaboom any second now. There we go. Nice. And we got our key. And what you want to do now is use our magic mirror. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> wrong button again. There we go. And now we're going to go through the other door. So the magic mirror teleports you to the beginning of the dungeon. Very useful. You don't want to backtrack. So now in this room, there's a. Uh, there we go. We've got another key. And. Yeah, magic mirror again. Perfect, nice. Now we can actually go straight ahead into the meat of the dungeon. Use that. And these turtles we can't defeat just yet. Go over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think. I'm go down here, I believe so. Yeah. Explore over here for a second. Nothing there. Let's go in here. Hopefully I'm going the right way. Yeah, I believe I am. This is the right way. Now we got the big key. This dun these dungeons, these Dark World dungeons are super difficult. But well, can be super difficult. They're no joke. Ow. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this shit. I can't open the damn I can't open the damn chest. <laughs> They love to swarm you with difficult enemies, but these dungeons really do test your strength. They test your, um, test what you've learned. I'm trying to get another fairy. I like it though, but sometimes that can be really trollish. Oops. Let's see if I can get this one too. Nice, okay. Take care of this one real fast, might as well. We're gonna push that block aside. Or statue, excuse me, not block. And now we wanna go the other way. Oops, and I fell off. <laughs> I did not wanna do that. I am a dumbass. Let's just go up again, take care of it again. It's not a big deal though. Yeah, I have a large backlog of games, but I want to fin. I want to take care of this. I want to do this for you guys because I love recording for you guys. I love, you know, I want to have fun playing these games. I am having fun playing these games. And I love recording for you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I mean, they, that's the biggest joy that you guys actually comment and enjoy what I'm recording. Is this the, yeah, this is the right way. Nope. <laughs> yep, that's the Bridge of Doom. We want to be careful with that one. Oh, fucking dick! <laughs> I hate that. Damn, really? Uh, let's do this again. Fuck, I'm gonna die. No, I shouldn't die. I'd be fine. <laughs> but yeah, I hate that place. <laughs> I got these fire breathing enemies here. Just take care of them. They're not that hard to take care of. One swipe will take care of them with the Master Sword. 
But we have some bombs you could get. That's if you want. I don't really need them, but if you need, but if you need some bombs, there you go. I think down here is the um, jackpot. Whoa! Right in here. Here we go. We'll just go straight up and yep, bomb this area. And wait for it, and there we go. In we go. Oh boy. And we got the magic camera, the item in the game. Now we can actually take care of those, um, what were they? Turtles. <laughs> those turtles can be very annoying, just to let you know. But you just want to backtrack your way out of here. I'll probably get hit and die, but I have a fairy, so I should be okay. See? <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose. I'm not an expert at this game. I'm I'm better at 3D Zelda games than I am at 2D Zelda games, so yeah. This is actually the only 2D Zelda game I've ever finished. Oh, another fairy. I'd love to get it, but shit. Let me try. Got it. Nice. <laughs> See if there's a. Uh, no, no heart. Alright. So, probably should equip my hammer. Let's go in here. Yep. Oops, shit. Damn it. Yeah, one hit with the hammer that turned over is an instant kill for them. Come on. I just do this for it. Oh shit. <laughs> and boom, boom. There we go. Got the compass and let's go down here. Get all these rupees. So it kind of pay you back tenfold when you uh, spend a hundred bucks on those just to open this damn um, palace. Actually, hundred and ten because you had to pay ten rupees for the monkey to follow you in the first place. Oh shit! Okay, nice. Oh, going up. And of course, that was the boss door. Let's go in here. All right, I wanna let's do this. And you got another five. <laughs> let's push that. That thing is worthless. <laughs> I wanna now go through here. One trick I learned is to do this to take care of these enemies. So we can't, you can't really take care of the red one because the red one's invincible. Nobody can give it the red one. You um drop it off the, if it falls off the um thing, the area, like that. <laughs> so what you want to do is get my boomerang. Nice. Since I think it's gonna actually take my time to get some hearts or rupees, whatever. I think over here I can get. Explore this area a little bit. Nope. Okay, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. So let's go ahead, let's continue on in here. And get this. And there's a button right there. You have to use one of these statues to hit the um for the button to stay down. It took me a little bit to figure that out my very first time playing this game. I said, like, I won't stay down, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I was like, oh. I guess I'll use the statue. <laughs> and now we have more of these enemies, and these shouldn't be too much of a problem. Aw, oh, damn, I missed. Nice. 
Thank you for stopping by. And there's extra arrows in here if you need them. So let's go in here and just time it. There we go. Leave your arrows out because you have to shoot an arrow at the eye of that statue. I got lost right here too. I didn't know what the hell to do. By the way, you can't do anything until the ball stops moving. <laughs> yeah, I got lost right here too. So I can't move. What the hell? Not that I can't move. So I don't know what to do now. What the hell? We got our hammer. We're gonna need our hammer here. We have more turtles. We actually this little barrier we can't get through unless we have the hammer. Ah, oh, fucking dick. Jerk. So, now we got that out the way. Let's get our, um, boomerang. There we go. Let's see if there's any hearts. Nope. Alright, I think that's the last small key we need. Oh, shit! There we go. <laughs> Forgot to equip my hammer there. And this. I hate this area. Let's just do this. Fuck it. Stop trying to be fucking slick. Just do your damn. Just use the damn lantern. I don't use much magic in this level anyway, so what's the point? Gotcha. Ooh, I've got three. Four. Fuck. Nice. Alright. So we want to go through here, and we are going to go through this portal. And we head straight up. Oh, shit. Fuck. <laughs> this is fail. <laughs> I me. Mean, I got two. Nice. Should be okay. Uh, what do I want to do? Need my hammer. And probably the hardest boss in the game is right here. <laughs> What you want to do first is use your hammer to use your hammer to uh, crack the uh, mask open because because uh, his face is his weak point. And he shoots these fireballs out. The fireballs aren't actually not that bad to dodge, but I died right there because I had nowhere to move. <laughs> I misjudged. I mistimed it. This is the main reason why I needed a fairy. <laughs> needed fairies. Oh, I was close. We got for that tail attack. That tail attack hurts. And you can't get too close to him. I get just enough to hit the, um, hit the face. It'll make a little sound effect and you'll move you back a little bit. That's how you know you hit him. Oh. Okay, more fireballs. Ow, got a hit. Fuck. I hesitated. Shit. Gotcha. Oh fuck. Oh, I got <laughs> I got lucky. Come on. Damn it. <laughs> there you go. I want to just keep him in the face. I have another fairy, so I shouldn't worry too much. Don't be as reckless as me, though. <laughs> I could be very reckless in this. But. Ow.
Damn. Got him. And he's a goner. Hey, get a heart. Maybe we rescued one of the maidens now. Look at that beautiful mode seven. <laughs> Adrian, because of you, I can escape the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. This world used to be the golden land where the Triforce was hidden. But because Ganon, the boss of thieves, wished it the, wished it the world was transfor transformed, I'm sure he's intended to conquer even the light world after building his power here. He is, he is trying to open a larger gate between worlds near the castle using our powers. But the gate is not open completely yet. If the seven maidens come together, we can break the barrier around Ganon's hiding place. I will tell you where the other girls are held. I believe you you will destroy Ganon. I will return to my original form at this time at that time. Do you understand? Yes. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. It would be funny if she said may the force be with you. May the Triforce be with you. That would be awesome. <laughs> but that's it for part number 10, ladies and gentlemen. Send you for part number 11, where we conquer the next dungeon. Or do more side quests. Depends. Stay tuned. <laughs>